Thanks for watching this video on Acumatica's ABC codes. So in inventory, we have a concept of ABC codes, our ability to categorize our inventory based on its value. So if we open up ABC codes, you can see here we have a few set up as part of our sales demo. And our items with highest inventory value make up the 30% top tier, and then high, medium, and negligible. You can see how they're broken down here. Now we also have the ability to define how many cycle counts we'd like these items to be a part of throughout the year. So for example, the items with the very highest value, we want to count those more frequently. So there's a couple of things we can do here. The first is let's take a look at our inventory stock item profile. And we'll open up the Acer laptop computer. So on the main page, you can see here under physical inventory, we have the ability to see what ABC code this is tagged to. And notice there's a checkbox here, fixed ABC code. We'll get back to that in just a minute. The next thing is, is if we go into the process update ABC code, and we pick a warehouse, we pick a financial period. In this case, I'm going to use a period that has a lot of activity for that item. We can see the Acer laptop here, as we've shown, did not have an ABC code. And its current value in inventory is 284,000 as of period three. Now, if we go over to the inventory valuation report, just to get an idea what this looks like. And we'll select the Acer laptop computer and we'll run it. You can see as of 420, this currently has $285,000 in value on hand. So as of March, 284,000 is what the criteria value was. Now Acumatica calculates that based on the entire inventory that we have in our wholesale warehouse, that makes up for 4%. And then our cumulative ratio is the addition of the items above. So now let's change this up a little bit. Let's go back to our ABC codes and change the items and more evenly distribute them across 100%. And then let's go back and reset this. And you can see our projected ABC codes have changed. So what we'll do is we'll process this. You can see Acumatica updated it, including the Acer laptop, which was blank before. And if we go back to the stock item profile and refresh, and we go to warehouse details, and specifically we go to the wholesale warehouse, you can see Acumatica has now updated our ABC code to B. Now again, we have the ability to override this and actually fix it. So if we wanted this item, regardless of its value and in inventory, we wanted this item to be part of an ABC category that could not be changed, we could override this and fix it based on what we want. And then based on how we do our cycle counts, it'll always be included in that cycle. So I'm gonna close this and now I'm gonna run our inventory cycle count types. So our physical inventory types, we have one set up here based on ABC code inventory. What does that mean? Let's take a look. So the description is ABC code inventory and the generation method is based on ABC code, meaning we're gonna select the items based on their ABC code selection. Now we could either do that based on the category we define here. So I want to count all the A items, for example. Or we can let Acumatica do the work. And based on the frequency, so here's six, three, the frequency we defined here in the profiles, based on that, we can have the system count automatically and reset the count dates as soon as they're counted. 
So if I select by frequency here and save this, and then I prepare an inventory cycle count, I'll choose the ABC code inventory one. And you can see Acumatica is pulling out the items to ensure that we meet our frequency and to count these so many times per year. So that's ABC Codes. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, at the end of our video is our contact information. Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you.